I'd probably run into one in the last year. I was checking into the hospital and there was this girl in front of me checking in the hospital. I thought she was a hell of a good looking girl. Uh, one of the so-called patients came in to buy gas and you could spot it right away. We see the one that needs a fashion update. One of these days, he, she's gonna walk by and I'm gonna yank him in <laughs> and give him some, <laughs> some tips on fashion etiquette. I started in a Catholic hospital. We didn't do sterilizations, we didn't do tubal ligations, we didn't do abortions, but we were doing transsexual surgery. Trinidad is the spiritual center for transsexuals. I think a lot of the girls feel like they're born here. It's when they finally are born into the body that they feel like they should have been born into. One day I'll grow up, I'll be a beautiful woman. I was never a boy's boy. You know, I really, really tried to be the father and all this stuff. I was putting all these titles I was supposed to adopt. I didn't mind my childhood being a boy. But when I turned 13, I remember having a dream where I was a rockette. And it was a very vivid, very real dream. It's, it's not a choice. It's not something you choose. I was a nurturer. I was the caregiver. Those tend to be more feminine roles. I don't think either one of my wives knew. You know, they thought that I had lost my mind. They still do. Hi, this is Dr. Marcy Bowers calling. How are you? I needed to come in and make some innovations. We're not changing gender. We're just simply aligning the genitalia with the gender. I really feel I was given this life because there's a mission for me. I think God wants us in this place. We are each other's hell, but we're also each other's salvation. It's going to be wonderful, but it's not done yet. I don't think poor Trinidad is ready for us. I really don't. This is kind of a magical place.